And that is not what I want. Way out of two, but it's okay. Why am I sitting so low in my chair? We're in some adult contemporary category here. Uh, this is me being a dumb dumb. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I failed in so many ways. Oh no. Well, hello there. My name is John Meyer. I recently watched one of those Guy Michelle Moore videos where he writes a song in an hour. Thought I can do that. So. I'm gonna set a timer for an hour. I'll edit it down to something much less than an hour. Uh, I don't really know what I'm going to write, but uh, I'm gonna start from nothing. I'm, I haven't even opened Pro Tools, no template, and we'll see where it goes. Uh, some things are already mic'd up, like my piano is mic'd up, running into preamps. I've got my Kemper over here. I plan on using that. Guitars, I think, are in tune. If they're not, we'll have to work that out. I'm rambling on, time to get going. Start the clock. We're off. I'm going to open up Pro Tools and I'm going to wait. I think it would have been okay if I would have opened Pro Tools before I started this video, but we're going to call this that. Let's do a tempo of say like this. Like 94, 95. We're going to open up uh, instrument. Let's get something like battery. Let's go find my sample drive. Oh, you guys are going to be yelling at me. You need a template. You need a template. I do need a template, but I like to try different things a lot. So we're going to go to that sound. I know I like these. Uh, cinematic pop. We'll go to the presets. We'll go to battery. We'll go to kits. And then let's go to something like chill. I'm going to go ahead and put headphones on. That is not what I want. So let's uh, let's look at something else here. Aggressive. Electro. Okay, I'm gonna keep this super simple. Let's uh, let's do a click track. Let's just start with the kick first. All right. Let's so layer a hi hat. Okay. Quantize that, command zero to 16th notes. F4, go in the grid. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna repeat that a hundred times. I think that's enough to turn the click off or we can just turn it way down. Uh, I've already got the piano mic'd up. Let's go ahead and just lay down a little something. Uh, how's my time doing? Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, one and two. I think the audio levels are close because I was using it yesterday. Let's see what happens. We've got another pair of headphones over there. See me? Let's just do a simple two chord deal. Okay, so here you can see, this is me editing in the future, by the way. Here you can see me, I'm playing basically G chord. And I'm in the key of D, but I'm playing G and A. In the left hand, I'm playing fifths in the bass. And just some simple improvisation on the right. Uh, buildings ever so slightly. But knowing that I'm going to add much more with other instrumentation. This is not all it's going to be. Uh, you're, eventually you're going to see bass and guitar and then acoustic guitar and then electric guitar again. Uh, there's going to be more, so I'm trying to make sure that I leave myself 
plenty of space. I don't think that drum groove is gonna be what I stick with. I think it needs a natural drum sound, pop, probably like my soft drums, or maybe I'll play drums and actually record them after I write a handful of these. But the purpose of that drum loop was to stay very simple with lots of open space, but make it to where I don't have to rely on the click track. When I write a production music track, it needs to be about two minutes. And in my brain, I pretty much know where two minutes is. I've done this so much. I'm not sure how long this went, but that's the goal here was to ramp it up ever so slightly and then have an outro section that was similar to the intro, but maybe even a little more subdued. My headphones are closed back so there shouldn't be any bleed from the click. Okay, I'm gonna, let's still go on, I should stop it, but I'm just gonna play some chords that I might decide I wanna throw in here, like uh, the, the, the two minor. So I'm adding in these extra chords. In retrospect, I would have written a few more stops or maybe some interesting chord changes in the middle of this, but I knew that it, I was keeping myself to an hour, so I wanted to be as simple as possible. And there's a lot of music that I love, especially background music type styles that are fine with two chords. It's what you do within those chords that matters. Let's add some bass. P bass. New stereo track. Don't always do stereo, but it's it's going into the Kemper, which comes out stereo. So I'm gonna open a rig manager, and I usually type in amp pig. And I find amp pig is ampeg. Let's go with clean. Pretty obvious. And let's turn off the effects. Oh, I'm running through. Okay, we turn that off. Let's see it running through a compressor as well. That is my Zvex super hard on drive. That's good enough for now. Uh, let's tune her up. In an SP Oh, we're compressor. a little sharp. I'm just looking over here at my Kemper, get it. We'll go ahead and come in from the top. Oh, I'm drop D. I'll just keep it that way. I I'm going for a vibe that, um, it's less of a song and more of a mood. And as production music composers, that happens a lot. I wanna give somebody a mood and I want them to have the option to stay with it for a long period of time and let it grow and develop or just use parts of it. So I look at the song as multiple sections that could be used for different uh, energy levels. But for the most part, uh, this song never really resolves and that tends to keep the motion going. I'm gonna stop talking, I gotta play, I'm running out of time. The hardest part with this is to stay simple because it sounds boring, there's no doubt, but I think this is what it's going to need when everything else is added in. Let's 
go ahead and punch in there. Can't be making those mistakes. Pre-roll. When you're used to playing in standard tuning when you drop D, it's, it's somewhat tricky to get used to the fact that everything is off on that bottom string. I'm using flat wound strings on this bass, I believe. I always get them confused, but I think they're flat wounds. And I made a video about playing the bass uh, on a production music track a while back. You can go check that out. Play with it. In my head, I'm imagining a more detailed drum groove by this point, not just the simple electronic groove that we're hearing. Let's hit that, let's hit that. Look at this piano a little closer as I'm playing. Ah, where am I missing that? Not sure why this was so difficult for me at the time, but it was a challenge. Let's go to the, the one there. A. Oh, I got it now. So we're going to go five. A. You'll hear me refer to numbers. To the one. G is four, A is five. And since just using diatonic chords here, three would be the three minor, which is your F sharp. Uh, most of the time that would be like an A with an F sharp in the bass. I missed the timing on a few of those, and there, there was a point where I thought, oh, I can easily edit this if it bothers me later on. But if I change the drums, it might not bother me. So I, that's why I decided to just roll with it. Drop D, John. Could have edited this to make it look like I don't miss any notes, but I'm letting you know that I miss plenty of notes. I learned how to edit quick and play with the bass because you can sit right here. You know, just keeping it simple. There's more that's going to be added here, so it might seem boring now. It might be boring, but we're leaving some space. Let's make sure we get that. Resolve. Bass is the easiest of instruments to build a part later on. You know what? Let me get those other notes as well. So we'll solder this up. Okay, and I'm going to record just an, an E. We'll let it ring out. An F sharp. G, A, B. Just in case I decide to change my mind and add in some different chords. Let's check our time. Okay, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. There, I know there are some clunky notes, but we'll deal with it. Let's plug in the old. This is an Epiphone that my buddy Bruce found for me. Let's go to my Kemper. Let's type in. I bought this from Tone Junkie. I bought the profile of the Stoogie AC30 from Tone Junkie. Let's get a little current. Let's get a little bit of that. Try these different profiles. I can lighten that up with my touch. Uh, let's go with B4. They're profiled at different levels of the amp. It's got some cool built-in delay. And I'm picking the one that fits closest to what I'm going for. Oh yeah. Tuning. Let's see what we got. I tightened up my 
intonation last night, something that I've never done before. It wasn't that hard. It's not perfect, but it's close. So we got our tempo. Let's tap in that for the rhythm. Come on. This is about to be really bad when it comes to the intonation, so don't listen to what I just said. I think I'm listening to the buzz and I'm looking up to see if the lights are on. I've got a little bit of... Hear that? Gotta find my sweet spot. I could put it in the middle. Sometimes those lights in the back cause my guitars to buzz. We'll just go ahead and cancel out those, uh, that noise. I don't like noise. Okay, so we're gonna get a stereo track here. We're gonna keep this simple. I do have a volume pedal here. I should here. have shown you the volume pedal on the ground, but it's just a volume pedal. I use it for swells. Okay, we're just figuring this out. I, why am I sitting so low in my chair? Doesn't work with a volume pedal. Okay, this is kind of a chill little tune we got going here. We're running out of time. Earlier I did that wah, 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 and that might actually be cool, something to think about. Oftentimes I, I, I do little noodles like that. Okay, my tuning is slightly off on this G string. We'll uh, start over there. It's not perfect, but it's close. Turn the reverb on. Let me burb. Just going back and forth, G and A. When my guitars are not in the best of shape, tuning wise, intonation wise, sometimes I'll just do one part of the neck, like one section, and then tune it and do the higher parts uh, later. Different voicings here. That's where I noticed it was really bad. It's way out of tune, but it's okay. It's not okay. In a minute, I'm gonna accidentally record over this part, and it was for the best. That'll work. Okay, let's think about this. I think we need a little bit, maybe some acoustic guitar. We're just gonna get somewhere. I usually kind of turn around this way. Get this down. Close enough. So F. Yeah. Gain it up. some adult contemporary category here which is fine i'm an adult and i'm contemporary been listening to a lot of the war on drugs lately you can probably pick up on that 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 electric guitar is out of tune and we either have to deal with that or add in some other slightly out of tune uh, instrumentation to make up for it sometimes that's sure works. exactly what i'm doing here but we'll figure it out it's the same part for two and a half minutes so trying to find variations, doing a simple picking pattern, and then I'll build into a strumming pattern as we go. I'm playing C shapes with the capo on the second fret. It's a Kaiser capo, if that matters to you. And I'm just using the coals about a foot out in front of the 12th fret for a somewhat natural response to the guitar. I left these parts in in their entirety in case you wanted to see how I would approach the full two minute track with one instrument, but feel free to skip ahead to the next section. I'll make sure there are chapters in the description.
You know what? I did not tune this sucker up. Oh no, I recorded over. What did I record over? Something important. I recorded over my electric guitar. Don't ever do that. Oh no, it's not there. Okay, okay. This is me being a dumb dumb. Oh no. I recorded over that electric guitar, but you know what? It was out of tune, so maybe there was a reason why that happened. Okay, what's our time? Ah, 25 minutes. That's okay, that's okay. This happens, it happens, it happens. Because we are gonna replug this guy in. Let's tune this. We're gonna have to roll with that. Just the intonation is bad. Get your guitars intonated, everyone. Public service announcement. Right, here we go, here we go. By the way, I put that pick in my mouth and I never use the pick and the pick stays in my mouth for way too long. I think it's the tremolo that's knocking me out. Meaning the Bigsby, when I'm moving it, I think that's what's pulling everything out of tune quickly. As I was playing this, I was hearing the out of tune notes. And it's not every chord, it's just some of the chords. And I was letting that sour me on the overall performance. And really, it's just a handful of those chords. After I recorded this video, I went through and I, I chopped a few of those notes out or and, flied and flew a few around, and it ended up being pretty nice and pretty usable. effect and all of that combined helped to uh, make those out of tune notes sound a little closer. The sound's a little dirtier at this point and that's just me digging into the guitar more. So I try to find a sound that when I can play lightly it's clean or when I go for it it's more aggressive. I like that better anyways. And we'll go ahead and kill the drum loop at the end. We're gonna add a lot more to that percussion. Uh, this is just to keep us going. So you have to kind of imagine where it's gonna go. And if I know I wanna get bigger, uh, don't necessarily match the dynamics of every instrument uh, to the dynamics of the drums if you know the drums are gonna get bigger. So you gotta think about that ahead of time. Okay, how much time we got? This might be a fool's errand here. Especially if it's not in tune. Let's see how close we are. I don't think no idea works. why I put the pick back in my mouth. This could be a tragedy here. So let's do this. Let's take my electric guitar and take it out of record so we don't have the same incident. And I don't know why I'm talking with the pick in my mouth, but it's going to have to stay that way. Why? So I'm going to pan this left. I'm just going to keep this super simple for time. Except I should start on the root. Okay, so this is my pedal steel with bender or lap steel with benders. I made a whole video about this. Go check it out. Uh, I know my way around it ever so slightly, but every now and then I hit a really cool lick. But a lot of them aren't great. So this absolutely is a time where I'll just remove the ones that I don't like and fly the ones around that I do because I have plenty of stuff going on in my left ear with the electric guitar. Oh, 
by the way, I believe it's G, B, D, F sharp, A, D. Ooh, that one's rough. We'll cut that one for sure. But uh, this lifts it up the note up a, a whole step and this lifts the F sharp up a half step so you get some nice um, you can go between your 1, 4, and 5 chords really easily and get that pedal steel bend which is awesome close a little pitchy here and there and i only know like three licks maybe two licks let's hear what that sounds like Ascent going. What's my time? What's my time? What's my time? Oh no, 14 minutes. Uh, so we're gonna do a MIDI track, which just happens over here. Oh, that was a lot of tune. That was a lot out of tune. That's okay. We'll just put a, some chorus on it. Just a little more delay. I'm gonna switch back over. I'm gonna link these channels. I was never able, able to find the patches that I liked, so. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's, uh, I got my peak down here. Vibey, I don't need the pick in my mouth anymore. I've got some vibey patches in bank B. Plan B, plan B. All right, we're gonna switch back over into the computer and we're gonna just open up something I know works that I can get too fast. I'm gonna create an instrument track. I'm sitting really high at the moment. We're gonna go into instrument and we're gonna do contact. Again, I should have a shortcut for this. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna find my sounds that I made, prototypes. And we'll go into and use, let's use basic. We'll throw this over here. And so we don't want that. Okay, we'll start with something along those lines and we'll put some nice delay on this. Echo Boy. Uh, I should probably branch out, but I know what I want to get to and I'm running out of time. So I'm gonna go to Classics, Space Echo. at my echo boy again let's just do the let's go with vinyl strip i don't want the any of that the dust i don't want the dust i just want the the wow let's see can you see me I'm just playing simple chords. 
my time. Oh man. I'm gonna let this evolve after the guitars. You can't see me, but I'm using the CC1 to adjust the low pass filter. And what I was trying to accomplish was kind of that, I'm going for that classic Juno sound, but I wasn't able to get to it. I've got, I'm running my finger on the, the low pass. High pass, excuse me, low pass. If when I revisit this song, this is probably a sound that I'll replace. It might need just a simple organ. Okay, I got a few percussion toys. Gotta get myself some gain. I gotta unmute it so we can all hear it. Oh no, that's not what we want. What bad timing that for that to happen. Okay, okay. Let's see if mic number one is doing the same thing. Hey. Okay, so I've just got a bunch of random percussion items that my friend Joel left over. We might have something to share for you soon. Maybe something in time for Christmas. It's just, let's skip ahead. Click track. I think that's still coming from the other mic that's open. Okay, so we'll take this. I don't hate that. Duplicate it a few times. I'm just gonna add a back beat that I'll have to tweak. Maybe if it's mixed low, it'll be cool. Kind of like how it missed and then hit. I'm just gonna du duplicate that. Oh no. Oh no. I think I failed, folks. Now let's finish it off with this. One more track. We need some energy. We need some energy. Ah, let's get my click track. Ugh. I failed in so many ways. And in fact, I kind of hate where this is at the moment, especially with that super loud shaker. Ugh. We'll just have to shift gears with this. You know what? Maybe this is the video. Maybe this is one of those videos where me failing to accomplish what I thought I could accomplish will actually help you in some strange way. I'm going to keep working on the track. I'm going to see if I can uh, make some of these out of tune guitars work. Oftentimes I'll, I'll come back tomorrow and listen to those guitars and they'll be fine. There's a lot of out of tune guitars and music that I really love. But I also want the track to build with drums and maybe the soft drums that I have would be a good feature for this. So perhaps this video, I'll come back in later and uh, finish it up the way that I want it to actually sound. But I'll try to keep track of how much time it took. I think what this revealed to me is that when I get into making music, time really flies. And what I think is an hour might actually be three. I imagine you're the same way. So thanks for joining me on this experiment. And I'm going to try to make it sound a little better. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Take care.